Guys, guys, you have to check this out. I think we've done something awesome. Definitely done something awesome. First, uh, go check out a video by a guy named Levon Biss. We'll leave the link in the description. He's doing some amazing photography using microscope objectives, showing insects in a way that I've never seen before. Uh, we'll wait. Hey, welcome back. Uh, that didn't take long. Yeah, I don't know. Okay, now that you've seen that and you get maybe a clue, or maybe you didn't watch it, I know you didn't watch it, whatever. Okay, two caveats. At some point, you're going to be reminded of your high school biology class looking through a microscope. This isn't that at all. Don't worry. Second thing, if you're a little creeped out by bugs, you're going to have a, a tendency to want to look away from the screen. Don't do that either, okay? Stick to the end of the video. It's going to be awesome. Now, to do what we're going to try and do, we've got some technical hurdles to overcome. That's right. The first one is that looking through a microscope, if you've ever done it before, there's only a tiny sliver of stuff in focus. Check this out. This is the edge of a dime. The area in focus is only about 50 microns deep. That's slightly less than the thickness of a sheet of paper. To overcome this, you have to take a lot of pictures with different parts in focus and then stack them together for just the best parts. Of course, doing this by hand is a little tedious, and you know how much we like to build things. Ha ha ha! Let's build some stuff. Yes! With a motorized system, we would be able to take all of the photos for the stack automatically. So the first step is motion rails for the camera to slide back and forth on. Then, a mounting plate for the camera. And now comes the fun part. Well, we might have different ideas about what fun is. Anyway, a motor is attached to the Acme threaded rod. We'll control it using an Arduino Nano because, like just about everything else in this rig, I had a few collecting dust in the lab. All that's left on that side is the camera. I'm using a mirrorless Fuji and a cheap eBay bellows to link up to an Amscope 4X microscope objective. Fuji should pay me for all the nice things I have to say about the little X-T1. By the end of this video, we'll have taken over 20,000 frames and it never had even the slightest hiccup. To make positioning our subject easier, we're using a little XY table that I originally used for focus. That needed a little stage to mount the bug on, which is where we went off the rails. Rather than moving to the side for each new set of images, we added a second stepper motor for rotation. In other words, a micro-sized 360 degree Lazy Susan for 360 degree images. Awful handy having a laser cutter and a lab full of derelict projects to pull from. Finished rig? Not too shabby if I do save some myself. Ignore that rat's nest of wires and cables. see more you can check out my instagram which we'll post in the description uh, I'm, I'm, I'm doing it now i'm going okay oh. game face what i was not ready for that <laughs> <laughs>